If you are a Node.js or React developer, then this Autobvious Code extension is for you. Now, to see all the extensions available or installed, you need to go to the extension tab. You just click over here. In the recommended tab, it will show you whatever are the necessary items you may require according to your code and the install one, it will show in the top. So now first, for our, especially whenever we are using the React, the ES7 is one of the very handy extension. It has a very good trick. Now in the source folder, if we open like home.js, now to create a functional component, we will just type refce and it will give us a full set of form of a functional component to go on right and it's very handy and also i think like if we create another text.js rfce and it will also create an another in a common functional way so both tricks can work if you install this es7 extension now after that es7 also i like to use that for ptr for making the code looks much better now how it will work if you go to the apps now i have here like one html uh, like if i just copy that one and by default whenever we are typing it will be like uh, it will not be arranged in a proper way right like it will give a gap or something but this bit here what you're gonna do if you save see it's arranged properly it's just coming in a range now how these things actually work because if you install ptr it will not work in that way you need to go to setting then in the settings just open the setting and now you need to type the formatter formatter now after typing formatter you see uh, there is uh, some functionality there the editor default format you can choose from here and also the format on paste format on save and those things you just read and go through now what it gonna do by default it will not be there you need to just from the drop down you need to choose the ptr and you need to tell how ptr will save you can pu uh, put the save on paste you can also put the save on uh, format whenever you are saving it so those things if you implement it will work just fine and now another one I really really like is the Tailwind CSS IntelliSense. It's a very handy whenever you are using Tailwind CSS. And now how it will work if you successfully install the Tailwind CSS like the way I did. Now what it gonna do like in this div I want to change the color. Now I will just put a class name like a text uh, red 400 first one it will not give you the intelligence by default now if i make something i want to make the font bold like font font bold see there is a drop down in like it's giving the idea what's going to be like i want to make text center now the text center is really handy you don't need to memorize every single thing like i want to uh, make something um like flex see it's coming with all the capabilities what it can do with that class name and then you can save easily now after that before also the sas you can use for the such watch it, it also can help you whenever you are using sas in your project and now i just want to keep your attention in one particular thing see whenever i am giving a p tag and i make a tab automatically it's giving me that circulation of html but it's not html it's jsx how it, these things work because manually what you need to do maybe in your code to type p tag then close see by default is giving me the closing tag how it work to enable that one you need to go to your setting again like uh, go to settings and now here you need to type emit now you need to enable emit to work your uh, react javascript now you can see there is a two value over here one is the item which will be javascript another one is the javascript react so whenever you are giving those value now the emit will start working the simply maybe in your uh, code it will not be there by default you need to add in the key put the javascript in the value put javascript react and click ok it will be just fine and then you will be able to type that whenever you are typing any of the item it will give you the automatic closing feature for you and also one thing remember whenever you are using that try to use that auto close tag see whenever i'm closing it's giving a auto close tag so i will not miss any close tag it's very handy and also the auto rename tag how it can help you in that div see it's the top and uh, the first and last div i want to make the div as a section now see 
it's also renaming its circulation now i want to make that h1 tag as a h6 tag and see is the circulation is happening at the end tag is renaming that tag very perfectly also that dot uh, env file whenever you have the environment uh, file there basically that file is like black and white it's difficult to go through it but if you use the dot env extension that file can be look more colorful and more meaningful and now another very good handy if you use the git the git ignore file now if you use the git by default you need to add a manually every single project but if you use that git ignore extension whenever you create a, a project with npx or some other it will automatically generate the git dot git ignore file and not only the dot git ignore it will give all the basic feature of it now you if you just want to add some more you can add it's very handy and also another for the git is the git lens if you have the git commit issue or something other you can just install it a uh, extension globally and it will be very handy for you now that's all about the react what is about the html that's another fun is the extension is there is html css support and that thing is very handy whenever you are using the html like in the source folder let me create uh, one file it will be like just uh, test.html now for that i will just put the exclamation mark and now i click the tab see it's generate the full form of file with me now i don't need to use anything like doctab html or some other it's very easy to create now if i keep a p tag and load it 100 now see it's save it now typical way what you are doing we're going to the basic file and inside that file we are putting that one right but now there is another extension which can help us to get that html in live that is the live server once you install that one you will find that one in here it will be work just fine i think something is running from the port beforehand i'm gonna kill it here now you can see i can go live and like i want this file to go on live what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just make it go on live now it will take that file in my browser default browser now what if i want to change something like i have that file in here i'm gonna put the h2 tag let put a lorem of 20 let's see how it's saved see it's automatically saved very quickly and it's very handy if you're using the html file and now also if you just look over here i have a very nice folder feature you know you can uh, very perfectly can uh, differentiate about the folder structure and for that what i'm using is that material icons theme it's very good it's just install that one and it will work by default and anyway beside that also you can use the vs code icons that also very good it uh, has a very good feature but i'm not using that one yet and now another one is the zoom bar now see this is this is the full setup of like if i go to my receipt the zoom this is the thing but whenever you are making a video you want to zoom it the zoom bar it will appear over here see it, it will appear over here and it's a very handy to use you just click on it now it will give you the setup of how many how much percentage zoom you want i'm using 140 keep it 140 and it's gonna work just fine so now also there is another last one i want to show you that is for the theme see i'm using one of the beautiful theme and it's coming from the night wall after installing that one it will not by default it will not work what you need to do go to setting in the theme go to color theme now you can find out night all night all and no italics that's the things you can really get it so i am using personally all of those now also you can see the black theme is available here and there is another emoji section over here how you can write inline emoji without uh, uh like uh, getting any kind of exchange uh like any kind of icons from there so how are we gonna do it uh, i want to put the icon uh, like icon over here emoji over here i'll go to in the search box put a mark now uh oops now i want to insert an emoji type insert emoji you see pop-ups are whatever available here now you can choose from the emoji you want to uh, use i want to put the emoji of a star 
oops a star now i can get a star over here without any icon see it's a very handy whenever you have to use some inline emojis and it will work just fine so those are the extension i am using personally i think if you use also it will uh, boost your productivity so try to use it try to try to also go in the search box search anything you want and you will get the good features from vs code extension i hope it will help you and explore some more